Hello, so uh, I'm currently in Oxford. It's actually just started raining, <laughs> uh, but I'm here with some teachers. Um, we're going to do a little bit of an interview about, actually, I suppose, why we're here. It's like the middle of the Easter holidays. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're all here, I guess, voluntarily. Um, <laughs> would you like to explain, I guess, why we're here? Uh, so today we're here as part of the Physics Partners competition final. Uh, so their competition is called What Lights Up Your Love of Physics? And so there's been over 100 entries yeah. and uh, only 10 schools have got to the final. Uh, I think we've all helped, sort of held our own in school heats. So we had three really strong entries. It was really hard for us just to pick in school. Yeah. Um, and then we've all brought our finalists here today. And, and the competition itself, um, what, what was the format of it? So. Yeah, where, where did you find out about it? What did the students actually have to do? Um, I found out about it through social media, so through Twitter. OK. Uh, yeah. I can't remember, it may have been yourself, it may have been At one of the Lego other people. physics guy on Twitter. It yeah. could have been that, that, that <laughs> Twitter handle, tag, yeah. hashtag, wherever it might have been. Yeah, so I found out about it through social media and then showed it to one of my year 12 students. Yeah. Um, and then um, Charlotte, the girl who took part for us, yeah. picked it up from there and we went with it from there. And so, so the competition itself, they had to make a video. Uh, was it three minutes long? Yep, it was a three minute video about what lights up their love of physics. Yeah. So it was a very broad, open-ended thing. Uh, they were looking for creativity, uh, content, and there was something else. Clarity. Clarity, maybe, yes, not yeah. what I was saying. Uh, yes, absolutely, so they were the three things that they were looking for. Yeah, and so it was a competition for year 12 students. Um, and the students who actually entered, did they have any background in making videos beforehand or was this uh, the kind of first thing they'd actually done like this? Um, I think, uh, for my student Laura, who's come in second place today, I think it was one of her first times that she actually made a full length sort of three minute video, really exploring something in depth. Yeah. Um, but I've really been blown away by all the students, uh, not just students I've come with, um, but we've heard sort of, you know, all sorts of talks, uh, ones about black holes, one about line emission spectra, uh, one about creating like unified theory. It's just been great to see the, the wealth of talent uh, from the young people. Yeah, so we, we've just seen like the top 10 entries. They just had the prize giving as well. Um, and in terms of the style of videos, was that what you expected or was it kind of more than you expected in terms of like the delivery and the kind of the, the subjects actually chosen? I think, yeah, they've gone uh, above and beyond probably uh, better than I'd even expected. I think it was uh, just great to see all the unique ways they presented, um, to see some students who'd really, you know, gone to length writing songs, uh, creating full length animations, um, yeah. you know, ones that really told like a journey and a story, you know, your students in particular really sort of showcased her whole uh, way through how she made it it was fantastic yeah would, would you mind explaining a bit more about the, the sort of the winning video actually and, and i think it was it was really hard to decide wasn't it which was the winner i would not have wanted to be the judges today it was it was an incredibly <laughs> incredibly tough job they had yeah. um so my entry the the school um it was about the history of clock making okay. and the challenges about that and she did a far better job than i would have done about explaining how interesting <laughs> and fascinating that is um about the challenges of keeping time at sea okay and the mechanisms and the physics behind that and how physics can help us in our everyday lives of saving lives uh, and i think what was really good about that video in particular was the kind of sort of the journey and the kind of story that was mm. intertwined with the physics and it was something that was quite personal the way it was actually explained I think all, so many of the entries blew me away with their creativity, with the, also the technical understanding and how it was presented. It was amazing, such high quality of, of stuff. It was brilliant. Yeah, and I must say, I'm a little bit nervous about the kind of the future of uh, people <laughs> coming through who are really good at physics and really good at explaining it as well. So yeah. uh, I thought there's some really amazing stuff there, like some of the animations, there's a video with some singing cats, yes. which was <laughs> yeah. a bit strange, but I thought yeah. that was like the, the time it must have taken to animate that was amazing. amazing. Yeah. Um, and so we, we've had the kind of uh, sort of the prize giving for, for that aspect of the competition, but we're at Oxford, aren't we? So what's happening after this? Uh, we ha we're having a lovely dinner, a okay. formal dinner after this. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then after this, the schedule for tomorrow, we've got a tour of the physics labs here. So we can't wait to see the facilities. We can't yeah. wait to experience life on the campus. Um, and just just soak it all in. I mean, it's beautiful, and it's a real privilege for our students to experience what life at Oxford University is like. Yeah. Do you want to say anything um, more on that? And, and tonight, hopefully going stargazing as well, but uh, looking <laughs> at the weather, I think we're going to have to keep our fingers crossed for yeah, that Yeah, I one. think this is kind of typical <laughs> weather, isn't it, in Oxford in this time of year, so yeah. Um, We'll see what happens later on. But um, thanks for, for kind of that quick interview and stuff. <laughs> and uh, you know, congratulations to your students in particular. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.